Okay, so I'm going to do a how-to video, and I don't generally do these, I just do what I'm doing. And maybe this won't even be a how-to video, but maybe you can gather from this information I'm about to show you, let's see if I can get this right, on how to actually change the brakes on this. First, you're going to need the proper tools. Yes, proper tools. Proper tools are expensive. This is actually a gift from Carl to the shop here, so I didn't have to buy that. But you're going to want to have the right brake pads. These are Napa Ultra Premiums. They're pretty decent. I've used them before on other vehicles, if not this one. They look like this. These are brake pads. Now, they come with all the little hardware and the I don't think there's any grease with them anymore, but there's little rubbers in there so that they don't, they're not noisy. So you'll have those, and I'm not sure if these are the ones for the front or the rear, so we'll just kind of set them aside, and we'll go with these. These are the Fleet ones, disc brake pads. Fleet extends life. They're quiet. They do what they're supposed to do. I think these are the rear. Now, and you're going to need rotors. You're going to need the rotors because anymore, nobody grinds rotors anymore. They have gotten them so that they are not, uh, there's no meat left on them. And instead of grinding them like you used to do back in the day, you just chuck them away and get new ones. And quite honestly, it's probably better because they would warp and then no matter what, you had a chatter and a warp and it just wasn't very good. So it's better if you just replace them anyway at least in my experience now these are ultra premium coated brake rotors and uh, I'm gonna see if I can pull one of these out of here because they're freaking heavy oh god they're supposed to be mm. that's what it looks like that's exactly what it looks like and it's got some kind of a paint on it so when you first start it up it's gonna not grab very well, and I've put these on my truck before. So, no big deal at all. So anyways, I might as well get to it. I gotta pull this wheel off of here, and then I should be able to get the caliper off and get at the rotor. That's the front rotor. I'm pretty sure it's the front one. Uh, yeah, I think that's the front one. The rear one has a drum in it, so for the emergency brake. So I'll just set you up here and you can watch. I'll probably put it in fast forward because that's the way I roll these days. Oh, somebody's calling. Uh, yeah. Well, isn't that awesome? Anyway, I'll have to edit some of that shit out of there. Alright, so these brakes are going to be, uh, they're a pain in the ass. Actually, not too bad. Um, to do this this job I did all four of them obviously that's what you're gonna see me do um, made some mistakes and uh, you know maybe I'll explain those uh, these brake carriers come off with two big bolts and it takes a I think it's a 13 16 inch socket and you take the carrier off uh, which carries the caliper now I did this wrong I took the carrier off left the caliper on and then fought and played with it and fought and played with it and fought and played with it as you see me doing here until finally I said you know what you're you're pissing me off uh, and I ended up taking the caliper off the carrier but you have to take the carrier off anyways in order to get the rotor off and a new one on so what I did was really stupid but that's just me today uh, anyway the uh, um, you know, as I'm working on this, there's little pieces of wear, there's little wear plates there to keep it from squeaking and chattering. They're they're stainless steel, so they don't rust and and uh, cause major issues. So you got to replace those. And I'm doing this the hard way, as you see me fiddling and farting around with that thing, trying to get it in there. I got my little brass hammer. I'm slapping it in there because I'm doing it really dumb um, by leaving the caliper in the carrier. Uh, pretty soon here you're going to see me get up and say, God darn it, I, there I go. <clears throat> I get the right size socket and I spin that bad boy off of there, which made it a whole lot easier to deal with um, the the uh, caliper and the carrier. And while well, the carrier holds the pads, whereas the caliper just fastens to the carrier. So I get it all back together again and life is good. And, you know got to have life is good from time to time 
um, because you just need to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, as you see me putting everything back together. Now to compress these calipers, I use a great big C-clamp. They do make a, a caliper or compression tool. Um, don't buy it. It's a waste of time. You can go down to Home Depot, buy yourself a big C-clamp or even a wood uh, a, a clamp for putting uh, wood projects together and this one here you'll be able to see a little better this is this is done properly this is how you take it apart you throw the caliper up over the side and then I don't know I was showing you the wear on the disc on the well, not on the disc but on the uh, on the brake pads now I had a lot of trouble compressing this particular caliper um, I don't know why it was just a pain in the ass I couldn't get it to come off I'm I'm fiddling around with it an awful lot with this one and uh, you know it just seemed like a real pain in the neck uh, the clamp wouldn't hold on to it right they wouldn't compress together until finally I just I, I just I went and got a flat piece of steel to take up the you know to spread the the pressure a little bit better and then I did you can see I'm fighting with this damn thing tapping it with a hammer trying to get them to go back in I would push one in the other one would come out and then push the other one in the other come out and it's just a real nightmare so anyways now I'm taking the now I'm taking that uh, carrier off I've got the carrier off you can see that the the hub and everything is exposed this is the time you want to inspect your your boots on your transaxles or your axles uh, now I'm putting the carrier back on bada bing bada boom I get them on the new rotor I buy these rotors that are coated from Napa it's it's just a basically a paint and it resists uh, salt and corrosion so you put the pads on the carrier and then when you get the when you get that all done you got to put the little the little clips on there the stainless steel slides and guides and then you put the carrier the the caliper on and put the uh, put the bolts back in I tighten them down with the impact gun uh, Teresa just showed up there I can see her in the shadows uh, then you want to put your tire back on get that tire back on there and uh, then you can move on to the next to the next wheel I did all four wheels and I was quite impressed that all four wheels were good uh, you know they all wore down together except for the one right rear yeah the right rear uh, brakes brake pads uh, the reason they didn't wear down is because I had uh, one delaminate and I just replaced them and without I had just replaced the delaminated uh, uh, pads and and never did do anything else just replaced those and that was that was it I called it a day because the rest of them were fine but you know uh, today's day and age uh, rotors are not even meant to be ground anymore they're just meant to put on and use and throw away and you'd be hard-pressed to find a shop that grinds rotors and drums anyway they just don't do it it's it's cheaper to cast and machine new rotors and drums than it is to uh, yeah than it is to actually uh, grind them and everything so, I'm there boy look at this lazy boy my brother-in-law and sister were there and uh, my and Joseph showed up and so you're gonna watch me sitting around there bullshitting wow lazy ass I am I think we were talking about politics and things which is kinda of silly but we do it from time to time uh, my brother-in-law has different political views than I do and I can see the disgust on his face when I get going and and I am relentless about stupid people like Hillary Clinton and he says well I don't like Trump's mouth he says I don't mind what Trump's doing so he's coming around you know Donald Trump is a, a different individual and uh, here's a trick I learned a long time ago and I forgot about and then was re-reminded but I'm hoping that I catch it on tape and my ass crack is not hanging out so you can't hit the unlike button um, but anyways uh, who was it that showed up it was Grant and dad and Joe so here you're gonna see me get this thing you're gonna see me get that thing spinning yes I'm under the truck without safety precautions I could die you know I could die that would end the show really you know I don't think anybody else is gonna do anything to keep it going but you see me beating on it and then I've got Joe gotten the thing running and everything so there's some mechanics out there I'm sure that are freaking out right now oh how can you do this you know so well I'll, I'll show you ready you just gotta grab a bigger hammer sometimes and then you beat on it while the thing is running and it walks its way right off uh, when I did the other side it worked perfectly I mean it really did so that walks off you inspect the brake shoes put the new one on 
brake shoes are fine because I never use the emergency brake. Um, I did make them go. You know, I should have replaced. I should replace the uh, adjusters, but I never use the emergency brake. It's just not something that I use. Uh, so anyway, now I'm on the other side. I guess Teresa had uh, Teresa had turned the camera back on. My brother-in-law and I are talking, and we're talking about. Uh, you know how how he doesn't like Trump's mouth, and I said to him, "I said, well, yeah, well, you don't like my mouth either, but you're still here." <laughs> you know, and he laughed, and he says, "Yeah, you're right." He said, "The only way I can get rid of you is if I divorce your sister," and she hit him. So I was kind of funny. Um, but anyways, after we were talking about Donald Trump and stuff, he my sister comes along and says, "Well, he actually got a he actually got an award from the president." I was like, "The president? He got an award? Yeah, with his signature on it." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Well, my brother-in-law, he, he coaches soccer, and uh, so he's coaches soccer, and he submitted his volunteer service, and uh, the President of the United States recognized him with a presidential button and a certificate that has a seal on it and his signature, and I, I had to laugh because before it was, I hate Donald Trump, and now it's, well, he's doing good things for the country, but he's not, uh, you know, he doesn't like his mouth, so, well, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter what Donald Trump says. It's it's not what he says, it's what he does. And, you know, sometimes he does some weird things, and but it gets results. Uh, I think he's a very intelligent man that, um, you know, maybe does let his mouth run away a little sooner than he should, and I do the same thing. So maybe, maybe me and Donald Trump have good things in common, you know. We just say what's on our mind and to hell with the people that don't like it. And that's pretty much how I feel. So, anyways, now I'm done, and I forget what we're bullshitting about, but we're bullshitting about something. Uh, we're done. We pick up the tools, and it's time to go home. And, yes, the truck ran perfectly fine. I don't know. Yeah, that was my brother-in-law, one in the green shirt. So, anyways, shout out to Scott there. So, now Teresa, she's in the background there. I can see her in the camera. But, uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of it. And if you didn't enjoy this, well, I'm sorry. Okay, this is probably one of the shittiest the videos time. I've ever done. But, uh, the brakes are done. And we actually have brakes. I don't know where she's going. Where? Anyway, where are you going? For what? You need air in your tire. I'm kind of grumpy. That's all. So... I'll put this together. If it's any good, great. If it's not any good, I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. Ow. So, bye. Ow. Right? Bye. Goodbye? Goodbye. Yeah, there's garbage in the back of this truck for like Stinky. a week. It does stink. But we have brakes again. Excellent, and it's not noisy. <laughs> it's not noisy. It was pretty ridiculous, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it was bad. I mean, when, <coughs> when I say bad, I say it was bad. <coughs> But anyways, I hope you did did enjoy what little I did put in there. I did some 